Okay, welcome to the seventh project for access. As always, uh, save with underscore two so you can submit to Sam for grading. Okay, so step one is Personal Insurance Inc. is a national company that insures homeowners and renters. As a regional manager, you need to meet, be able to prepare reports for other managers and create forms that help in making database updates. Open the regional customer report in layout view, group the report by the region field, and then sort the report by the customer ID field. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is open the regional customer report. Regional customer report in layout view. Okay. Group the report by the region field and then sort the report by customer ID field in ascending. So region, add a group. We're gonna group by the region and then we're going to add a sort. We're sorting by, I believe it's customer ID, is it? In ascending, A on top, so that is ascending. So we've grouped by region and we are sorting by customer. Close the group, sort and total paint, and then save and close the reports. So this is right here. And we click save and close down the report. Step two, open the renter policy report in layout view. Modify the report as follows. So A, average the values in the personal property column and sum the values in the premium column. Okay, so we're going to average the values in the personal property. So we're gonna to go to home and, oh, hold on now. I put something else here, did I? Yes, right. Report layout design. Go to totals and do average, and then click on the premium column, click on totals and do sum. B, switch to print preview to view the report and check that the values in the subtotal controls and the total controls are not truncated or cut off vertically. So we are going to check out print preview and we see that it is cut off. So, whoa, close print preview. So to change that, we are going to click here and just make it a little longer. So that's, that, that's the move button, you know that. This is the resize handle. So your resize handle, click and drag that down a little tiny bit to get it so that it is not truncated. All right, C, return to layout view, and if necessary, drag the sizing handles, which we've just done. Save the report without closing. So we will right click and save. Step three, with the renter policy report still open in layout view, apply conditional formatting to the premium column. If the premium amount is greater than $225, display the value in bold maroon. Okay, 225, bold maroon, premium. Okay, so we'll click on the column, go to format and conditional formatting here. And the new rule is going to be if the field value <coughs> is equal to 225, it's going to be bold and maroon. I believe that's right. Bold and maroon 225 is greater than 225. Okay, so it's greater than. Okay, apply, okay. So any value that is greater than 225 should get bolded. All 
Not very many of them, but there's a couple. <laughs> okay. Step four. There you go. So it shows you that you've got it done right there. Step four, open the NE homeowners report in layout view. So I'm going to right click save and close. NE homeowners report in layout view. On the second line of the label, include the address field. So you're going to enter and include the address field. On the third line, include city, comma, space, state. So city, comma, space, state, space, and postal code. Space, postal code. Sort the labels by the coastal, postal code feed, field. So next, sort them by postal code. Next. Save the report as labels customer, which should be your default name, and it is. So finish. Pretty neat if you have thousands of people in a database and you need to send, say, reminder emails to everybody for the month of March kind of thing. Uh, really useful. Okay, so close print preview, save and close. So you have a little figure there so you can follow that so you have it look in the same way. Step seven, use the report wizard to create a report based on the customers and renters table. So we're going to go create and we're going to go to report wizard here. And we're going to base it off two tables. So we're going to include the customer ID and last name field from the customers table. So the customer ID and the last name field from the customers. And we're also going to go to the renters and add some fields in from there. So we're going to use policy number and premium. Policy number and premium. 
Uh, the data will automatically be grouped by the customer ID and last name fields, but do not add any additional grouping levels. So next, how do you want to view your data? So we're going to just do next. We're not going to add any additional grouping levels. Sort the report by policy number field in ascending order. Policy number ascending is already default, so we'll go next. Stepped and portrait, that is what we want, and it's default, so we don't change anything there. F, save the report using customers and renters report. And that's enough for me to want to copy and paste it. 